You are going to want Android Marshmallow. Google's latest version of Android may sound like a single headline feature, followed by a list of tiny improvements, but they all add up to one important update. After all, there's a reason Google is causing this release Android 6.0. Marshmallow is going to make Android able to do a lot more for you, all while making key refinements across the operating system and the address long-standing issues. All in all, we are looking at a smarter, sleeker and a more usable Android. So yeah, you're gonna want to update. Google Now Tab Google Now Tab is usually Marshmallow's standout feature. It takes Google Now, the predictive text assistant that's been beside your home screen for a couple of years and lets it crawl through your app so that you can get extra info on basically anything almost instantly. Here's how it works. You press and hold the home button while inside of any app and Google Now will read the screen. Look for anything interesting like the name of a celebrity, an event or a location and then return information on what it sees in a little pop-up box on the bottom of the screen. If someone texts you the name of a restaurant for instance, no one tap might see its name and present you with its location on a map. Or if you are on a news story about a celebrity, no one tap might pull up their information from Wikipedia or give you the chance to jump to their page in the IMDB app. It's an incredibly cool feature and my initial tests showed it working quite well. This is going to be a big deal in Marshmallow and more than likely future versions of Android as well. Case by Case App Permissions This sounds insanely boring but it's really important update. To date, Android apps have asked you during their install process for permissions to access everything and anything that they might need. Things like your camera, your location, message history and so on. Often enough, you'll see all sorts of things that it seems like an app shouldn't need access to, but you don't have the option of saying no to just one item or asking that anything is used for. Ok, but under Marshmallow, this is going to change. Developers will now be able to ask for permissions on a case-by-case -case basis. That means when you go to open up the camera in Instagram, for instance, Instagram could deliver a pop-up asking if you want to let it access your camera. That way you'll know exactly when an app is using a feature and why it's using it. It also means you can download and install an app, use most of it but prevent it from doing one or two things that you disapprove of. Apps will have to update to the new way of doing things for all this starts to happen but for now, Marshmallow will still let you go into the settings to deal with the apps you already have set up. Apple has dealt with permissions on iOS in this manner for a while now. So some people may already be familiar with this approach. Basically, it's a good idea and it's about time it hit Android. Fingerprint Support Fingerprint sensors have already popped up here and there on Android phones, but soon they'll probably going to be everywhere. That's because Google is building dedicated support for fingerprint sensors into Android. So that phone makers don't have to code it all in on their own. That means your next Android phone will likely let you use a fingerprint sensor to unlock your phone, make payments and log into various apps and services. Basically, it's going to be a huge convenience for both the people making Android phones and we, the people using them. USB Type-C Actually, it's Type-C. Everyone hates buying new cables, but this time, it's worth it. USB Type-C, also called USB-C is a tiny new reversible USB format that's a kind of sweeping the text industry. Before you know, it's going to be used to charge most phones, tablets and laptops and for transferring data and video between devices. Marshmallow adds support for USB Type-C for Android phones and tablets, so there is a good chance that your next phone will use it. Get ready, you'll never stab a micro USB cable in the wrong direction again. Those. It seems like every new version of every operating system makes a claim about improving battery life, but Google's latest improvement may actually be a meaningful one. Those, a new feature in Marshmallow, monitors how your device is being used and adjusts app activity accordingly. Basically, if you aren't using a tablet all day while it lies on your table, Marshmallow will simply pause your app so they don't drain through the battery. That means apps won't be primed with the new content the second you open them. But Google says a device's standby time could double. Not a bad trade-off. I like it. 
better cut, copy and paste. Finally, another small but meaningful change in Marshmallow is the way that it handles copy and pasting text. Rather than making you jump up to the top of the screen to find and decipher the cut, copy and paste buttons, Marshmallow will float the options directly above the text you have selected. It's pretty much identical to how iOS does it and it's a solid change. Even if it's only a small change, it's for something that you use a lot. Number 1 and the most important, Chrome works inside all other apps. It's always frustrating getting kicked out of an app and over to the web where you have to wait for a site to slowly load. So Google is doing something about it. With a feature called Chrome Custom Tabs, Marshmallow will allow apps to preload certain web content before sending you over to an in-app Chrome tab. That idea is that you are still visiting a live updating website, but the experience should be much smoother. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video, please hit that red subscribe button to get more and more stuff about Android tech, gaming and funny videos. Obviously, it's Nish Jay and you're gonna love the channel because there we got all you need. Like the video if you liked it and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.